So today I'm going to be filming my summer slash fall slash back to school haul kind of stuff. Some of the stuff is for school, some of it's just for fall, a couple of summer things thrown in here. It's just kind of the shopping that I've accumulated kind of right before I left to go to South Africa in South Africa and stuff that I ordered while I was there. So my haul is definitely not as big as Ellie's because she was here for most of the summer and I was gone for a month and didn't really have a lot of time to do shopping. Plus it's winter down there and I didn't want to buy too many winter clothes because that's what most of the shops had. I'm like, well, fall's coming up anyway, so, you know, I got a couple things from there. But, um, since Ellie and them are still at the beach, I had to borrow a camera because she wanted to use hers to take pictures and stuff, so I borrowed my dad's, I think it's in kind of read on the thing, Nikon D 7100, 7100, I don't, I don't know, I can't read numbers out loud. And it doesn't have a pop-out viewfinder, and it's very confusing to use because I'm used to the Canopy 3i. So I may have to refilm this video several times. So why don't I start out with the stuff that I got before I left? So the first place I went to before we left was Gap, and they were having a big sale. They had buy one get one free, I think, on their V-necks, and then just had a whole bunch of just markdown stuff. So I'm gonna start out with the buy one get one free V-necks. So originally, I was trying on an outfit and I needed a gray tee just to see if it looked good under the jacket, which I did end up did end up buying. And so it's, I just got it out of the wash, drying, for air fluffing so it's a little bit creased, but I ended up loving it and it's the Essential V-neck Tee and it's kind of like, kind of acidy, burn washy, I don't, burn wash? Burn out. I don't know, it's just really cool looking. I have other gray tees but nothing like this one and then it was like, buy one, I don't know if it's buy one go on half off for buy one get one free, but I really liked the style of this one. I liked how it had a little bit of a longer sleeve and it kind of had the distressed kind of pockets and this, I've never seen anything in a color quite like this color so I obviously had to get it because I thought it was really different and cool. Then some of the, this jacket, some of you may hate and some of you may really like. I was like kind of still surprised that I got it, but I got such a good deal I couldn't pass it up because this jacket was originally I think 85 and I got it for 15 So it is this tweed kind of tailored jacket. It doesn't have a collar, it just zips up if you want it to. And you can really make this casual like with some jeans and a v-neck tee where you can put a blouse to make it more formal but it's kind of this blue tweed and it has coral lining but when you put it on you can't see it. And I don't know, I just think it's really pretty and just something different to have in your wardrobe. And finally from Gap, another piece that I'm kind of like, okay, about really out of my comfort zone is these jeans. And as you can tell, these are boyfriend jeans and they are the sexy boyfriend jean. And I got them on sale, again, these were like $15 maybe. And they are light washed and they're like kind of distressed ish. There's no holes in them. But I like them because they're probably the most form fitting boyfriend ones. Like they form fit all the way down to the knee and then they come kind of loose. But I've been pairing these with lots of outfits, but I just haven't been brave enough to quite wear them yet. But I am really excited to wear them. I just need to go over my fear of them. I'm at Target. I just went in there kind of get like the last minute stuff for my trip, like extra makeup wise, make sure I have I had to get like a powder because you know. So I just popped me the clothing section and came across this, which is a chambray popover. It's from the Morona brand. And before this one, I'd only seen that J. Crew and I really wanted one, but I wasn't really gonna pay 70 bucks for a chambray top, even though it's a really good basic. So I think I ended up paying like 20, 25 dollars for this. And I got mine in a medium, so it'd be really kind of loose and oversized, but leggings and statement necklace or chinos um this is really cute and i love it then j crew factory gg pants with pockets and they are the navy ones so they're kind of like pixie pant material but they have a zip and pockets and everything and belt loops so i can wear this to school because you have to wear navy or khaki pants to school so i can kind of get away with wearing pixie pants to school which is awesome and then I ordered a pair of shoes also for school and I just realized I was looking in my closet the other day and I was like I have no 
um, colorful shoes, literally none. They're all neutral. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick a pair of colorful flats. And I loved these ones from Jacob Factory. And these are the Harper Bow Flats. And they have this really pretty coral color. Obviously, they have a big bow on them. And they have a little bit of a heel. And I've worn them once already. And I am obsessed. And I cannot wait to wear those more in school. Moving on to what I bought when I was in South Africa. So... The first place I went to was Woolworths, and I'm pretty sure this is in England as well, it may be in Australia, or I'm not sure. So tell me if you have a Woolworths in what country that you live in, but they have clothing in there, and I got this top, and it's by the brand Country Road, which I know is also a store, but they sell some Country Road stuff in Woolworths. So this is just this grey, long sleeve, kind of loose tee thing. Um, and I've been wanting one of these for so long, but like, it's really cute, which is like a statement necklace or a scarf, it's just a really good basic top to have, so I really do like that. Then I went into Topshop, and I got this top, and it is this orangey, coral orange tee that had a little kind of ruffly thing on it. And I tried the black one in, in store, and then I was like, oh, I don't really, I want something more colorful. And so I knew I wanted to get another one out, I grabbed this one, but I went back in another day and saw that they had a blush pink one, and I really, really wish I had gotten the blush pink one, but you know what? I kept this one because they didn't have the blush pink one in my size, so I guess I couldn't have got it anyways, but I don't know, for fall, with jeans and like a sweater or a jacket. I don't know. I'm going to make this work. I'm going to find a really cute way to sell this. So yeah. And then also at Topshop, when we were going up to, well, I got this in German because I did not realize how warm it was going to be and I had no shorts or anything. So I went on the hunt for shorts when I was in Durban. So I picked up these at Topshop, which are the Topshop Moto High Waisted Shorts. And they're just this light, medium wash kind of fade. A little bit of a distressing. The only thing I really don't like is how it looks like when pockets come off. Um, but you know what, whatever. And I got these in a petite, which you're probably like, why'd you get in a petite? You're tall. Well, I have a really short torso. So if you have a short torso and high-waisted shorts go way too high on you, I suggest trying to find petite high-waisted shorts. Um, so yeah, and I really, really, really love these and I've been wearing them so much lately. I really wanted to get something South Africa spring buck, which is like a B-team E, uh, like a long sleeve tee or something, but I saw this at one of their sports stores, this fleece, and I can wear this at school because it's a solid color fleece, and their colors are hunter green and gold, or dark green and gold, which I love because this is dark green. And then it just has the little Springbuck logo, and then on the sleeve is the flag, and it's just the quarter zip. And it is so soft, and I love dish. Then, moving on to the things that I ordered while I was gone, so it's just four things. I got an order off Bakery Factory and order off Forever 21. And I recently ordered off Shein Side, um, which I know is a China re uh, restaurant. Um, like a China website that I've heard really bad reviews on and really good reviews on so I found just some stuff just I mean Ellie got her stuff so I got the embroidery top that she had because I'm obsessed with that and I'm like I need that so hopefully it'll come I really hope it comes because I love the top so the first order I put in was for the gorgeous herringbone that I cannot believe that this is like in my hands and I own it and I ended up only getting this for like 54 bucks and I ordered this when it first came back on the website which was like at the end of June I like told the story in her but we were sitting in our wellness class it is the last day and so we're just like let's go on our computers and just look at JQ Factory and see if there's any new arrivals or anything and it was on there and we first was like is this a glitch is this like so we ordered it just to see if it was a glitch or not and they came and I'm just obsessed and I'm pretty sure they still have lots of regrets on their website so before they sell out go get one for Pete's sake and 
for all of you wondering, sizing, me and Ellie both get an extra extra small. There's still room to layer under them. They run big, so do not size up if anything sides down. So, yes. Then I went back on the website, and so now I had that vest and the navy J. Crew one, and I also had a pink one from GH Bass or whatever. And I was like, it's all pretty dark colored vests. Hmm. So I kind of also ordered the warm bisque one. And I didn't even know that Ellie had ordered this one. And I sent her a Snapchat or a message, and I'm like, should I order this? Should I not? And then after I'd already ordered it, she goes, oh my gosh, I just ordered that too. So we can be twins even more, but this is the warm bisque puffer vest again in an extra extra small and I am just in love with this vest. It's amazing. And then I got a necklace and at first I really, I mean, I didn't want to buy it because it kind of bothered me, it kind of bothered me how it was lopsided, but it grew on me for sure and it was on sale and I got it when I ordered my cream vest and it is the... I don't know what it's actually called, but you just call it the lopsided necklace. But it's just this crisp, big crystal ah, necklace. Really, really pretty. Hopefully you can see that. And I apologize. I painted one hand of nails and didn't paint the other hand. My logic in life. Oh, last thing. Finally, I got a pair of shoes. Actually, story time. I did get another pair of J. Crew pixie pants. They were in the wash, so I wasn't going to show them. Reason being, we're in South Africa, and one of the people tells us we say that the person who does their laundry or whatever acts like you can wash with pants, even though it says directly underneath, but you cannot iron them. And she ironed them and burnt them, my pair and my mom's pair. So we just both ordered a new pair. So I got those two. But, anyways, moving on. I got these shoes from Forever 21 and they are little booties and all in pictures I've been seeing these little booties and I felt a pair I love, I think they're Aldo, but I wasn't going to pay $120 on things that for something I didn't know how often I was going to wear, so I think these were $28 at Forever 21 and they're really good quality for being from Forever 21 and you're going to see short little booties and they kind of have like a big chunky heel. And then the inside they have a zipper. And um, I was yesterday when I got, well, not yesterday, when did I come back? Two, two three days ago? Whenever I got, got here and I opened my packages, I tried on so many outfits with these and I just fell more and more in love with them. It looks actually really cute with his boyfriend jeans I showed you, and just a simple tee or with skinnies. My favorite is I have skinnies with these and this really loose white tee. And it's just so simple, but it's so cute. So I am really excited to wear these for the fall time. And the first, uh, the first beauty thing I got is this nail polish, and it is the Peach Daiquiri by Essie. And I went to the Target looking for Cajun shrimp, and they did not have it. I've been twice, and they still haven't had it. And then I got this lipstick in Maybelline. What are these called? Color Sensational Lipsticks in Shocking Carl, which is actually on my lips. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And all of our links will be down below. So, go follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, Polybor. Go buy stuff off our Poshmarks. I think that's all the links we have. Oh, our blogs and our business inquiry emails. No, I ordered this and the pants and something else, didn't I? No? I thought I got a top. I guess not. No? Well, that was eventful. Gotta get lucky charms because they're good luck. Uh.